Now, these are the incidents that took place with the Shaykh al-Albani with other shiyukh. And I talked to you about an incident that took place with me, myself. Shaykh Rahimahullah, he had won uh, uh, the scholarship from Saudi Arabia that he is Mujaddid al-Sunnah, the revival of the Sunnah. And he had received from Saudi Arabia, uh, which is Jaiz al-Malik Faisal, the Faisal's King Award. And he uh, got it when he, just before he died, about three years or four years before he died. Now, at that time, the, uh, the, 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 the Jaiz or the reward was broadcasted on the Saudi Arabian TV. I have a father and he has uh, 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 you know, antenna. We didn't have satellite, that, those, there was no satellite channels. We had an antenna that we could really pick up the Saudi Arabian broadcasting. So I saw it and I straight away got, I told my father I'm going to record it. So I recorded it on a video, the VHS BT Max, you know, a long time ago. <laughs> so we recorded the talk then with the Sheikh Al-Bani because the Sheikh Al-Bani didn't go there. He sent someone on his behalf and that person, he delivered his speech, a Sheikh's speech. And uh, uh, I got it on a video, Peter Max. Anyway, but every time we want, we are eager to see the Sheikh, especially to have us and them, him on our own. So I, uh, I went, I phoned the wife of Sheikh Al Albani, Umm Al Fadl, Allah. I said to her, you know, I've recorded what is being broadcasted regarding the reward. So I've got the video. If the Sheikh wants the video, it's with me. I don't want to give him the video. I want to go and see the Sheikh. She said, well, uh, I'm sorry, Abu Suhaib, that uh, Sheikh, he has somebody else recorded it for him. And he's bringing his TV, because the Sheikh has a single TV, and his video to show it to him. Wallahi, I made a dua against that video. <laughs> <laughs> I remember making a dua. I wanted the opportunity to see the Sheikh. Following day, while I'm praying, I was praying inside the, masjid, the house. And praying, I don't remember, Isha, Sunnah, something like this. The phone rings. When the phone rings while I'm praying, so I picked up the phone and said, Allahu Akbar, that means while I'm praying. Then I continued the prayer, and then after that, the phone rings again. And it was Umul Fadl. What happened? He said, the video is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Sheikh is asking if you come to come. Ah, I've got to set my conditions now. <laughs> I said, tell the Sheikh I've got two, three people with me as well. And we're going to see the Sheikh for half an hour. She's laughing now. Um, for at least one hour, we're going to see the Sheikh and then we'll give him the film. Said, oh, she said, ask the Sheikh. The Sheikh is okay. So we went all the way from my city to Amman, which is not about, about 30 miles away. We went to the Sheikh. It was during the night. And with the Sheikh in his library, still after Isha, he's got his glasses and he's looking at us. Oh, you won. Oh, you won. <laughs> the Sheikh, rahimahullah. So I brought the TV and I brought the video. Later on, he told me, the Sheikh, take, take, your, take your shaitan away. He's calling the, the, the TV, take the shaitan away after that. <laughs> he had seen it. So anyway, I went there and uh, we talked to the sheikh and we asked a number of questions. One of these questions is about a person who was an uh, American revert to Islam. And he has some recordings with the sheikh at the beginning. And he asked some questions. And later on, this person who reverted to Islam only in the 19 of, uh, 1980s, uh, that's about 20 uh, or 30 years ago, and he became now the head of the Shadiliya Tariqah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm not going to name his name. So he became uh, the head of the Shadiliya Tariqah. So the Sheikh was saying to me, he could be a Jesus, a spy. He's been, and those words I'm conveying to you, they are within, because the Sheikh has died, Rahimahullah, I'm conveying it could be that, that how come that this person just reverted to Islam to be the head of a very major jama'ah, tariqah, which is known. Rahimahullah, the Sheikh, when he came to our city, my brother was talking to him, Sheikh, who have lots of partisans and ikhwans and brotherhood. We want you to come and to have a debate with them. The Sheikh said to him, okay, how far is your city? He said, Sheikh, inshallah, will take about one hour from your place to get here. He said, okay, expect me in 20 minutes. <laughs> I remember, expect me in 20 minutes. The Sheikh is, mashallah, he drives and he drives fast. He does not break the rules, but he drives fast. There's no, there's no speed you know, limits there, he will drive. So once I was driving 120 kilometers per hour, which is about what? Uh, 120 is about what? 70, 70, 70 miles. I was driving 70 miles behind the Sheikh. I couldn't really catch him up. 70, I had to drive 90 to get him. 
to catch up with him. That's how Master Sheikh, Rahimahullah, he does not waste any time. 